All right, we are live on Facebook. Thank you, Williamsburg County citizens, for tuning in to us. Um, before we get started, we're going to go. We're going to look for a sound check. Facebook. Um, when they begin to come up, someone can give me a sound check to see if we are, if you can hear us out there. Also, we are looking for anyone on the conference bridge to also give us a sound check. IT, you see anybody on Facebook? Here? Yes, there is a caller. Yes. Um, who's on the call, please? Gloria McCray. Gloria McCray. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. So, can they Facebook? I need a sound check. I just give me about 30 seconds. We have any anyone on on uh, on Facebook Live with us? Let's see. Let's see. Um. Yes, twenty-seven. Okay, can we get a sound check from our, our Facebook viewers and listeners? In it. Sound check from our Facebook. All right, due to the fact that we have no public hearing um, on the agenda, the phone lines are being used as a form of communication for the citizens that do not subscribe to any Facebook or social media web portals. No questions or any comments will be taken from any of the mediums. Uh, while we are live during this uh, meeting. This is normal for any council meeting, the fact that our citizens must be uh, on the agenda in order to speak. So this is just merely a medium to communicate and so you can hear the things that you need to hear. Um, we will be happy to entertain any questions after we have completed with the formal council meeting. All right, I'm gonna start with roll call, starting with district one. District one, Joe Ray. District two. District two, Torrance Wilson. District three. District three, Jonathan Miller. District four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven, Carolyn Lemon. All right, let the record show we do have enough for a quorum. The other council members have, have called in and basically stated they had some other things that had to be taken care of. So we do have a quorum. Clerk of Council. Yeah. Sammy Dewan. All right, Attorney Jenkinson. Yeah, right here. All right, we're all, we're all on. Let's go ahead and I'll call the meeting to order. Um, and it's council, me council meeting for June 15, 2020. Um, I need someone to do the invocation for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity for us to come together to do county business. We ask your guidance as we go about our business. We ask these best in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, my council members, just please also be reminded that when we are addressing county business, that we ensure that we at least state our district number. Anything related to any voting or uh, anything dealing with that, please make sure we state our district number. 
uh, we're looking for right now, we're gonna go ahead and go through the approval of the minutes for the regularly scheduled council meeting. That was June 8th, 2020. We had to have a correction on our agenda, but it is the regular, regular scheduled council meeting that was conducted on June 8th, 2020. We need approval for the minutes. So move, Madam Supervisor. Move. Second, District 2. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, please signify by stating your district number. District 7. District 1. District 2. District 3. Opposers have the same rank. All right, approval of the minutes. Uh, we have we have approved the minutes of the meeting that was scheduled June 8, 2020. Our next order of business is our ordinances. We do not, not have anything for third reading. However, we have something for second reading, and that's for ordinance number 2020-09, an ordinance providing for the issuance of a taxable or tax exempt tax anticipation note in the amount up to $3.5 million for Waynesburg County for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2020 and ending June 30th, 2021. Hereafter referred to as fiscal year 2020-2021. What is the pleasure of council? District, District, two. District two, motion for second reading. District three, second. Okay. All right, any discussion? none. All those in favor of second reading of ordinance number 2020-09, please signify by saying, stating your district number. District 1. District 2. District 3. District 7. Opposers have the same right. Of ordinance 2020-09. We're we going to also move down to second reading for ordinance number 2020-10 an ordinance authorizing and providing for the issuance of a waterworks and sewer system revenue bond trial community project um, series 2020 or such other appropriate series designations in the amount of not to exceed $7,990,000 of Williamsburg County, South Carolina. Um, authorizing the county supervisor and chair of county council to determine certain matters relating to the bond providing for the form and details of the bond, providing for the payment of the bond, providing for the disposition of the proceeds thereof and other matters related there too. We need a motion. District three, make a move. Do we have sec uh, second reading? District seven, second. All right, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Please, all those in favor of second reading of ordinance 2020-10, please signify by stating your district number. District one. District two. District three. District seven. Opposers have the same right. It is so ordered second reading of 2020-10 ordinance number. Uh, we have nothing under resolution. However, we're going to move down to the supervisor's report for an update concerning Williamsburg County and COVID-19. Bear with me. I just got the, the newest numbers in for our county. I hadn't had a chance to see them. It just came through while we were live. So Williamsburg County total number of persons who have had or have uh, been diagnosed with the COVID-19 is 289 of our citizens. 289 is our current count. We have three new ones as of today. Um, we're also dealing with still in phase two. Phase two kicked off um, last week, I believe, and we are still working within those parameters to date. Um, I can say right now at this date and time that we do not have any of our employees that have been exposed to COVID-19 at this point to as of today. So I think it's working out pretty well for us, um, how we're trying to phase people in and out um, to ensure that we lessen the amount of exposure. 
We are preparing for phase three, which will probably not go in effect sometime in um, July or late July, early August, depending upon the, the numbers and the trend in numbers. So we are definitely working on trying to improve our services and try to bring things back online and develop our new normal here at the county level. Uh, we are hoping, the governor talked about last week, of the fact that they would be releasing funds um, to local government uh, for the purposes of uh, the support of law enforcement and public safety officials during this epidemic or during this pandemic. Um, so we are hoping that uh, our members of our delegation speak up for us up there and um, the state house and get us uh, the necessary sources of funding that we need because as most of you know we've been saying that this has pretty much put us in dire strengths. Um, we were already in a bad situation going into uh, the new budget season largely because last year we were able to put a band-aid over a situation uh, over our budget situation due to the one time the, the one-time funds was able to push us over. Um, so we would we had to have we had to deal with not only that issue um, coming into the 2020, 2020, 2021 budget, but also the response effort needed to ensure that we kept our people safe as well as our community safe dealing with COVID-19. So we are in for a rough road, but we're trying to put together options now uh, to come up with it to ensure that we can sustain life in, in county government. So I am I concerned about uh, where we're going financially, I am very concerned. So it's just something that we're just going to have to try to work through. So I appreciate the efforts of all the teams that are working to try to help us come to our uh, our golden number, in which we need to make sure that we have a a, a clear budget, or I should say a um, a uh, balanced budget. So it is is become extremely difficult, but we're gonna we're gonna get through with it. We're, get through it, no matter what. Uh, we're asking. I've asked our county departments, and I've spoke with each department head, elected official, appointed official, last week, and discussed with them uh, about a 15% budget cut for the budget that they were currently working in during this year. Um, that has become very, very, very difficult for them uh, because they already did. What's Brad Mercer's telephone? Anyway, um, it's important that um, we take note that this is the, we're going to have to do everything we can to try to make sure that we are, um, we, we don't go under here in county government. Um, also, we are soliciting prayers for our employees that have uh, sustained a loss family members, so please keep Williamsburg County government family uplifted um, because there's a lot of stuff happening out here and we really need to, to, to make sure that we keep each other lifted in prayer. Um, other than that, does any member have any questions regarding the update for our COVID-19 response efforts? I have none. I have none. No one have any question. That's good. We do not have any executive session items. Um, and I'm asking at this point that we need a motion for adjournment. So move. Second. District two. District one. District three, so move. Okay. And district one second. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? of adjournment, please signify by stating your district number. District one. Yes. District two. District mm -hmm. three. District seven. I think I heard all districts. Councilman Wilson, you, you vote, sir? District. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Great. Opposers have the same right. Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thank all for joining us on this short agenda today, thank goodness. All right, thank you. Have a good and safe day. Thank you. Supervisor uh, Jonathan Miller, District 3, did you get my text? <laughs>